He is the best. Dogora. Other Northern, Northern leaders speak. Presidential candidate to support after Tunimbo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get it if I don't post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Jacobo Dogara, another Northern Christian leaders in a scamp who rejected the Muslim Muslim ticket of the All Progressives Congress APC, have revealed the candidate they'll support for the 2023 presidential election. The leaders under the ages of the Northern Leaders Quantitative Firm have declared support for the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate Atiku Abubakar. News understand that they revealed their decision on Friday at a media conference in Abuja. The adoption follows the presentation of a report by its Technical Criteria Committee, which was presented by former Kogi State Deputy Governor Simon Achuba. The leaders have rejected the decision to pick the All Progressive Congress candidate Bola Tunembe to pick former Brunei State Governor Kashim Shetima as his running mate and promised to reveal another candidate party to support after due consultations. However, on Friday, they said after evaluating all the presidential candidates contesting the 2023 polls, they realized that PDP candidate is the best. They added that the decision of the All Progressive Congress to field a Muslim Muslim ticket is a sign that the party is about to become dead and buried. The report was put to a voice, n- n- voice vote by Dogran, unanimously adopted by the members. It is evident that the All Progressive Congress APC is heading for implosion and extinction, hence it cannot be the party for now and in the future, because of its rejection to embrace inclusiveness in a diverse country like Nigeria. After the 2023 elections, the All Progressive Congress may be dead and buried as a political party, the report reads. While the duo and NPP and Labour Party may emerge as strong contenders on the political arena in the future, from all indications, the People Democratic Party supposed to be appears to be the best option to adopt and support. All it takes is to sustain all it takes is to sustain and tackle some of the problems and challenges this country is facing. Certainly, with proper consultation and inclusive appointment, which is mindful of the federal character principle with a sincere consideration of diverse issues such as religious affiliation, geographical location, and ethnic identity, which many believe will enhance justice, fairness, and equity. After a careful evaluation of all the issues highlighted above, we hereby recommend that the abduction of the People Democratic Party to all lovers of democracy in Nigeria. For the 2023 presidential election, I am not actually surprised. Remember, I told you people that both Baba Cholawal and Yakubu Dogora, my mind is telling me that they are going to, you know, um, adopt the People Democratic Party as their party. It's their brother now. Eh? And this is these people are not in the light. No matter how they decide to play to the gallery, no matter how the whole round and round and round about that they do, <laughs> at the end of the day, not so it will be. All right. If you're rejecting a Muslim Muslim ticket because there is no equity on it, which is a good decision, whilst they pick another Nathana to rule again after he set of Bahari, I was going to say this later. I was going to say this later. If they think they are standing for equity, fairness, and justice, which I know they are not standing for, deep down, no matter how they make it sound like, oh, you're fighting for the masses, you want to support somebody, we will stand with equity, fairness, and justice. You are not so, they are not supposed to be supporting a Northerner, another Northerner. When we have not just another Northerner, but a Northern Muslim, a Northern Muslim on seat. If, if a Southerner was on seat now, okay, it was okay, fine. But you cannot tell him, be telling me you are fighting for equity, fairness, and justice. And you still have something to do, or any business to do with the nothing, with a northern candidate who is also Muslim. To me, it doesn't make sense. Why still pick another northerner to rule again after eight years of Buhari? You are not also going to, okay, you are not also to, you are not also going to go, going to equity with cleanliness. Exactly. He who wants equity must go with queen, clean hands. Peter B would have been the best option since Atiku is also from the north. Until we speak the truth and be sincere about it, 
Nigeria will not be a better place for us. Exactly, exactly. The thing is, until we tell ourselves the truth as a people, and the thing is, it is until we all queue behind the truth in this country, that is when we are going to get ourselves, to be very sincere with you. Until we come to the realization that the enemy here is bad governance, bad leaders, who do not want Nigeria to go forward. And I've told us that, you see, what is wrong with Nigeria is not something that serious. We are not cursed. It is because somebody in the Ministry of Health is saying one money. They will bring money, maybe, okay, the Ministry of Health, um, the government will bring money as the federal government, will allocate money, okay, the Ministry of Health, use this money and improve in the sector, give it to hospitals, general hospitals, let them, you know, maybe increase even worker salaries and all of that. Somebody will sit down on it. Because why? They take advantage of the fact that the leaders, they do not care for the people. So we are the, we are at the grassroots level, the electorate. We'll be saying, oh, no, not the same people. You understand? Even if the government is working, they are stopping it. We'll say, oh, we said it. Do you understand? It is that easy. Why? We too, they don't show us shaky. That is what is happening now in Nigeria. They are going to give money, give a local government money chairman for root. Okay, Oga, the money for the the money for the road. The governor was okay. You want to do the road? Okay, how much? Or maybe they'll give the person from. No, it's it's, it's still true. Um, um, governors, you want to do the road? Okay, this is the amount. Okay, send the account details. The contractor will come. Maybe the contractor will contact. Then they'll pay you, a contractor. Then before you know what is happening, somebody is calling you to send money. If you don't want. They start telling you, okay, you think I'm playing with you? Look at the color of your building. Look at the color of your children's house. Look at the color of your children's school. Look at what they're putting on. Ah, ah. Well, you know, say, money no be your own. Che, che, che. To avoid, then say, then say, you go send them. And then go tell you, don't make this thing no go outside. Do. Nobody should hear that anybody called you. This thing goes on every day. So it is until we tell ourselves that, look, enough is enough. We can fight these people. We can if we are all united against them, they are going to they are going to scatter. But if you keep be dividing, they'll keep dividing us through ethnic lines, through religious lines. That is why it seems that okay, some people are for them and some people are for us. If all of us come together say no, enough is enough. Or together, you know, let us do the right thing. I tell you people. They are going to understand that it otoge means otoge and they are going to do what hands off. Okay. Mm. APC and PDP are the best of the same feather. Another angle to look at it. APC is PDP and PDP is APC. I've told the people, even in the All um, Progressive Congress, and uh, they picked a Southerner as the, who told you people, they put a Southerner that is controllable, that you can remote. Somebody that is not strong and, fr um, that is not strong, that is frail and fragile. That of course, you, you know, age is taking a toll and illness is taking a toll on. I do not mean, I do not mean to sound offensive. I don't mean to sound, but this is the truth. You put in somebody and you put a northerner behind the person. Who do you think is going to be running affairs? To me, a vote for Tenubu is certainly a vote for Shetima. I keep saying it, that Tenubu is a placeholder for Shetima. The um, People Democratic Party came out and told us their own. Oh, it is a northerner that we are bringing out. But the All Progressive Congress are hiding the, the northerner behind Tenubu. We're going to see how it plays out. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.